Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Gardner, Kansas, where a new frauditor has decided that he was going to interfere in uh, a police investigation, and he ends up getting himself arrested. Oh, joy! Congratulations on being a complete and total dumbass. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Suck my dick. No, I don't think the officer is going to take you up on that, but do you see that shield the officer is carrying in his hands? Well, you're about to see somebody who was arrested in the house, which means there was some major event that took place in this house just in the past few minutes, and you are trying to trample all over their investigation at this point by... Uh, Getting way too close to it. I mean, it's still an active scene. You don't know who or what is still going on inside the house at this point. I mean, yeah, but that's on you, dumbass. Write me another fucking ticket. I'm not writing you a ticket, dude. Who are you? I'm Officer Kelly. I talked to you before. Oh, yeah, remember? you're a good guy. I forgot. Uh, this guy to... is actually a good guy. I was just going to say hi to you, man. I wasn't trying to run you off. Airbows. Uh, I'm bleeding, so I don't want to touch you. No, airbows. Here. There you go. If you can, please, just try No, to... honestly, public sidewalk, bro. Fuck okay. off. Cool. If you're willing to stay out here, I... I... Public sidewalk, bro. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> Way to slam that thing in gear, bro. You're going to tear up our vehicles. Dude, it's not our vehicles. They belong to the city, you dumbass, because do you have the legal authorization to sell those vehicles? No, no, you don't, because they don't belong to you. They belong to the city, which does have the legal authority to sell them because they own them. Not you, dumbass. Car number one, two, three. Apparently doesn't know how to drive very well. Well, we got an unmarked. Oh, Officer Kelly. Can you go to the hospital? <laughs> I wouldn't take you anyways. Here's a dick. Are you sure that's not yourself that you're describing? Because, well, at from the very moment you arrived, you were acting like a complete ass to all these officers. And they've been nothing but courteous to you. But you know what? Something's about to change and you're about to end up in a shiny new pair of bracelets for your trouble. So let's continue on, shall we? Probably needs to be demoted. Yeah. Why'd you slam that car in the park? You know, tear up the transmission. Yeah, I figure you don't want to answer that question. 
Why do you slam that car in the park? Why'd you slam that car in the park? Why'd he, hey, why'd he slam that car in the park? No, you guys don't know how to answer? You just don't want to answer. Do you want to be accountable? Transparency's nothing to you guys? Yeah, you frauditors uh, are all talk when it comes to transparency. But the moment people start asking you questions, yeah, you pretty much do the same damn thing where you don't want to answer any questions. Yeah. So a bit of a double standard in your in the case of all frauditors at that point. So why'd you slam that car in the park, bro? Hey, four eyes. What's your name? What's your badge number? What's your badge number? Can't see it. What's your badge number? I like to file a complaint on the way you're driving these vehicles. Oh my God, who the hell cares? You slammed that thing in the park, man. You're going to ruin these transmissions. I don't pay for those. You don't pay for those. You should take more care. You should take better care of them. Oh, you done screwed up now, frauditor, because you just committed one of the gravest sins of a frauditor that they can commit. Actually admitting that all cops pay taxes. No frauditor is supposed to admit that. You just ruined that. Oh, but, oh, if it breaks down, we'll just get a new one, right? Cost the taxpayers more money. What's your name? Are you going to verbalize it? Maybe I can't read. Oh, you don't care about disabilities. Huh. Do you hear that, guys? Officers do not care about disabilities in this town. Ah, yes, you wouldn't be a frauditor unless you somehow spun the narrative, which basically means the old rule, you've got to lie to fraud it. And boy, that was a whopper of a lie right there. Watch me, bitch. My hands are in my pockets, guys. My own tackle they put your knee on my throat. I'm dead or something, guys. Come on. No, talking to you is speech. What's his name and badge number? I'm telling you, don't walk away, you're going What's his name and badge number? I just want his name and badge number. Alright, I'm walking away. I'm walking away. So you are now under arrest. I'm walking away! Behind your back. Oh yeah, and the last of the frauditor tropes. I was just about to walk away anyway before you threatened arrest. I, yeah, don't arrest me. I, I was just walking away. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't really start walking away until uh, the cuffs came out. Yeah, so bit too late by that point. So enjoy that ride to the police station and enjoy your new career as a frauditor. May you have many arrests under your belt. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.